Jerry Holub, our plant and garden expert, is back with us. You took a little hiatus during the state fair. Did some yes, fishing. I did. Up fishing up in Canada. Caught a whole bunch of walleyes with my brother. Oh, that's had a fun. great time. Yep. And now you are here to tell us about fall, which I yes. know a lot of people are not necessarily ready to think about, but no. it's around the corner. Right. And a lot of plants have suffered because of the heat and the dry. Yeah. We have a good supply. We have thousands of nice mums up in Ames, Iowa, at the Holubs up there. I brought one today. I'll bring a different color each week for you here. And this one here has over a hundred buds and blooms on it. Oh, wow. For this size that's right here. That's beautiful already. And this is the medium size one. We have one that's much bigger too. I'll bring one of them some one of the weeks too. One of the great big ones that are, it has probably 200 blooms on it. Okay. Yeah. Now you were telling me that this mum right now will last for two full months. So this could right. carry you almost to Halloween. Yes, it will. Because see, these are grown outdoors. A lot of people's mums, you see at some of the discount stores, the big box stores, they are grown indoors and they're already blooming now and they've been forced indoors. These are naturally grown outside and they're fed all the time. We keep a lot of food in them too. So you don't have to feed them at all when you get them. Just put them somewhere. Like I say a lot of plants have suffered. Just replace some of your plants and put them in there. Oh, that's perfect. Now for and the indoor the plants. House plants. Yeah, yeah, indoor plants. We have a big shipment coming today and I, I brought some just along to show you here that we've got that right now in stock. We got a lot more coming in today, all different prices. These are the medium sized ones. We have some much smaller. We have a bigger one also then too. I want to talk about bugs too. Yeah, talk about yes. bugs. We're having some problems too. A lot of people are still calling me. We'll show this close up here. This is still my favorite one to use. It's called Eight Insect Spray. The nice thing about it is um, you can use it on flowers or vegetables and it's very safe to use. Yeah. Yep. Tell me about this plant here that you have okay. up front. This one's yeah. really pretty. Yeah, this is called Anthurium. You can see this. You'll see these a lot in cut flower displays. These blooms will last for months. I mean several months, up to 90 days will last which is kind of cool too. Yeah, and then yep. tell me about some of these here on the side. These are low light plants over here. We have a, a little um, philodendron here. We have the, or pothos. We have the airplane plant. We have a sedum. You know, that one you can look at them, you can seed them, you know. My old joke, you know. Okay, over <laughs> here. He's always sending me jokes, by the way. Yeah, I send him they jokes all the time. That. We always get good yes, jokes. Yes, and they're here. usually grandpa or dad jokes, I call yeah. them. Yeah. They're, they're real clean though, they? are good jokes, I do that. yeah. Now here's an owl plant. I want to show a close up on this one. We have a nice supply of those up there too. And those are good if you get yourself burnt, you know, just take a piece, break it off, touch your hand, and it takes care of it naturally. When you get That's burnt. awesome. Yes. All right, last question for you. Okay. Because things have been so dry, a lot mm -hmm. of people are probably starting to get their tomatoes mm -hmm. that are, you know, producing maybe their mm -hmm. peppers. Are there anything you know, is there anything else that people should be doing right now heading into September? Yeah, the biggest thing is if you see a lot of your bottom leaves are brown or yellow looking, you get a fungicide. Copper fungicide's the best. Any type fungicide will work on that. You need to water them thoroughly, even though you're talking maybe an inch or two of rain. If you get less than an inch of rain, you need to still water your tomatoes if you want to. Otherwise, they're going to crack on you. You'll see cracks on them. Yeah. Sometimes you'll see some black spots on this blossom end rot, uh, different things like that will happen to them. So just give them the proper water. When you water them, water them thoroughly too. Never just give a little bit of water. All right, Jerry, thank thoroughly. you so much for being here. Yes. We're excited to have you back after yes. a little bit of a yep. time away. You can get in touch with Jerry by calling him at the number there that you see on your screen. You can also visit Holub Greenhouses in Ames. They're yes. not on Merle Hay Road anymore for nope. the season, but they are up in Ames.